Making it to the Final Four is the culmination of a lifelong dream for many of these kids. Dick and I will watch dreams come true for one team, and we'll find out who it is in tonight's game between the Kansas Jayhawks and the Tennessee Volunteers. It's showtime, baby. Let's get the intros and get this one started. You got it, partner. So without any further delay, let's get this one started. The Volunteers are looking at a very tough opponent, Dick. What have they got to do to win? Hey, they've got to do the following things if they want to be successful. First of all, hey, disrupt the rhythm of their outside shooters. Don't let them just catch the ball and shoot. Get right up on them. Second of all, don't let their big man become a factor offensively. Keep them off the block, push them away from the low box, and force them to shoot jump shots. Lastly, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Boy, that stat at the end could be a big one. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. With a deep pass for the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Perfectly executed. Oh, my goodness. That was unbelievable, baby. Showing maturity by waiting for the O to regroup. Now the high screen. He shoots from left of the circle. Sinks the shot. Steal. I think the pressure was just too much. Tremendous pressure, just enough to force the steal. Home is eager and excited to compete. Well, he's had some success and he feels good. This kid's on an emotional high right now. The Jayhawks have a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. For two. I'd say a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. On the dribble, gives it up, lets it fly. He sinks another basket. What are they going to do with this guy, Dick? I don't know, Brad, but they better do it quickly. Go into the low block. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. Trying to feed the low block. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is... And that bucket's going to count plus one. A big time and one, baby. This is the team's first trip to the free throw line. Makes the foul shot. He stays in control until they regroup the offense. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. On the outside, now trying to feed the low block. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I'll tell you, tried to make the spectacular play, but now he's embarrassed. In the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Wow, that's worth the price of admission. Oh. 
Patience with the ball as the offense regroups. They work the perimeter. Gave it up. On the top of the circle, Harvey dials long distance. There it is again. the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Another turnover. We're not talking about the turnovers either. For the bucket. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. He keeps his dribble as they reset. Great anticipation defensively. Three-prong attack tonight, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brad Nessler with Dick Vitale and our friend EA. Aaron Andrews checking in from the sideline. He takes it away. Fast break opportunity here. For two, he buries the shot. We get another look. go inside and they do they got on the low block I've seen you out there with pom-poms Mr. Vitale but not looking that good I tell you what don't look that good I can't dance like that baby excellent spacing that's so important to a good offensive set it's even and has it rejected defense did a great job with that block shot I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place Dick I'll tell you one thing you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this by the way you and I have the best seat in the house Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Number four, pump fakes. The power forward takes the feed. Here's a double team. The shooting guard takes the pass. Off the rim and no good. Looking for the foul, he drains the bucket. Both teams looking to get things going here. Working it around the perimeter. On the dribble, gives it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. He takes the board. Down inside. Jumps into the defender. Tennessee are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. Moving it around the perimeter. The center with the ball. Double team now, bad angle. Steals the ball. The power forward gets the pass. And as you would say right here, Mr. Vitell, flop city. I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestle. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Too physical. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. Trying to draw the foul. Great play to take that to the basket. Gave it up. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. <laughs> Tries for two, and in and out. Up and in. Go 
Goes up for two. He hits a bullseye again. And he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. With the fake. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. What a terrific job on a defense to beat him in the spot, Mr. Nestler. Up and inside. On the dribble, gives it up. He does the sweet fake shot. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. On the outside, entry pass in the paint. The ball goes out of play. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, with the score so close, both teams seem so intense on their benches right now. Both coaches have told me it all comes down to turnovers and miscues. They work it around the perimeter. Way out on top, gets the rejection. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Fakes it. Tan on the shot clock. With the jumper. The Jayhawks have got to continue to get him the ball. And he's on fire. On the inside. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job with the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. Now the turnaround jumper. The Jayhawks have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. job there by the defense knocking the ball loose then getting possession the volunteers football team is usually the one in the spotlight they are but at least the basketball team is getting some deserved recognition and the ball goes out of play for two basket falls despite the contact Red. He shoots from the angle. Sinks it. Look at that spacing. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Now on the break. Kansas are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put on offense. Pressure that basketball. He dials long distance. The Volunteers have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. That he's on fire. Looking for contact. He drains it. There he is, strips the ball loose. Number 15 goes for the aggressive steal from the tightly guarded position. He's got to pick and choose, Brad. Pick and choose when to go for the steal. Looking for a good shot. 
and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Looking for a good shot. The center gets the ball. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Entry pass in the paint. Good defensive stance there against his shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. Stolen away. It's not uncommon to have a few high risers on your team these days. The game has definitely changed in that regard. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Perfectly executed. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. Hits that one. Misses. He grabs the board. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. With a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. Gave it up for the bucket. He seems determined to take the tough shot. But an off and the offense is being totally taken out of sync. Nice fake. He gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. What should they do here, Dick? I'd call a timeout and see what's going on out there. There's definitely some miscommunication happening. For two, can't get the shot to drop. Takes the pass in the paint. Dick, they're ripping up the Nets tonight. And hey, they're definitely shooting the ball well tonight. Great execution by these boys. Puts it up, looking for contact. And he scores despite the hack. The frustration right there. The dribble gives it up, tries for two, and off the mark. With the catch, nice execution on the spin. I tell you, great spin move to the basket. Isn't that something? He wants these fans to get pumped up and get excited. He wants the roof to pop off this arena. My goodness. Pump them up, young man. Pump them up. The Volunteers go to the line for the first time in this game. He makes the first. And he doesn't miss that opportunity either. Wow, the screener took a lick setting that pick. Moving it around the perimeter. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. A 
On the outside. Takes away the pass. He draws a foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. It's two at the charity strike. Now they work it around the perimeter. Working it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He's got a nice shot fake. He shoots from the elbow. The Volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> <laughs> On the inside. He pump fakes. High post player flashing. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Dump it inside. Defense giving some room. Turns it over. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Aaron's right about that. Dude. I'll tell you one thing, you better be able to establish post play because that gives you inside, outside action. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He goes to the free throw line. He sinks it. Kansas are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Gets it. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Dick, he really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. The fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Jumps in. Easy one. On the outside. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Entry pass in the paint. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. alley -oop. leans in. Up and in. He fires from long range. Great shot. We got to roll that one back. Here's the block from behind. My man was on a mission. The missed shot.
Looking for the foul. Doesn't go. It's just great hustle and great defense with the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Running right at the screen again. What did I say? Intercepted. Pushes it up. From way outside. Way off target. At the end of the first half, the Volunteers are trailing by 14. Dick, we've got a good one going so far. Is there a highlight that sticks out at you in the first half? Check out this dunk, which changed the momentum, Brad. I wouldn't doubt if the next half is filled with more highlight reel dunks. Looks like both teams are trying to one-up one another. The teams are just about ready to start the second half. Dick, let's see how this one unfolds. Fields has not shown his usual productivity on offense. But you know what, Brad? He's still having a decent game. What's more important is for the rest of the team to pick up the slack in the second half. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you can imagine, both coaches were very intense as I met with them at halftime. They said at this point, it all comes down to playing their game, having fun, and enjoying the moment. Guys? All right, thanks, Aaron. Dumps it in. Fake. Jumps into the defender. Easy one. He can't let this guy have the uncontested shot. He just got to dig in and play some D. He shoots from left of the circle. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. They work it around the perimeter. Trying to draw the foul. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. On the dribble, gives it up. Picks off the pass. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Got an open look if he wants it. Definitely a foul. Points off turnovers, Dick. A stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy baskets. He shoots from the angle. Brings it. Here's one for the highlight reel. from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. I tell you, they all want to take it to the rack. High wire rack, baby. Little dips to do that guru. Up and inside. He's got an open look for the shot. Here's a three ball. Off the rim and no good. Drops the bucket despite the harm. He attempts the three, gets it to go. The Volunteers are down by 16. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Step out on that screener. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there. The defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, Great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Gave it up. Durham handles the feed. Decided against the open post and reverses the ball. He hits the shot.
with the fake. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. Puts it back out. Durham receives the pass. Pass down low. There's a, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming up. My goodness, players these days and their athleticism based on jumping up in the air and then deciding what they're going to do. <laughs> I'll tell you, it must be nice. Length of the floor. He needs a shot. Show the replay on that. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great hang. He blocks the shot. It's a block party out there. There's a whistle and a foul on the inside. What a great job of putting the ball to the floor and attacking the basket, taking advantage of a slow post play. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. They then get into a rhythm. to start things up again. Cross court. And now there's a whistle and a foul. You start comparing these backboards, Dick, what are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long ways. If you think about teams in the past, they will guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Great play to take that to the basket. He gets it to go. The Jayhawks lead by six. Gave it up. Count that as a personal foul. Everybody into the act right now. And you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And that what makes college so special, the enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody in the foul. He shoots from the top of the key. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. In the paint. Takes it away. The dribble gives it up. Executes the baby hook. Comes out. Tries for two. Easy one. That's a seven zip. Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the dribble, gives it up. Working it around the perimeter. From right in the circle, way off target. He throws it up from downtown, knocks it down.
for two. In and out. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and this packed house is showing their appreciation for their team. Well, there's euphoria out there. They're really excited. They want bananas. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. For two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Buchanan handles the pass. Oh, yes! The Volunteers are trailing by six. Takes the pass in the paint. Looking for contact. Bryant receives the ball. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Takes it off him. Here they go into transition. He hacked him. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. He'll get the free ones. First shot, good. No problem so far at the free throw line tonight, Dick. Well, they're making the most of the free ones. It's good. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. All right, let's check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, after all, this is the NCAA Finals. In talking with both coaches before the game, they figured it would be a close game from start to finish. I'm certainly looking forward to the game's ending. in the paint. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. He's got to pass it or make a play, Brad. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Hit off with a long bomb. On the outside. Jumped in front to take it away. On the inside. Good fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. Sinks the shot. The Jayhawks are up. Tries to turn, the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great with that block shot. The player's got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. The Jayhawks have quite a few seniors in their lineup, which definitely is to their benefit. It is, Brad. Seniors may be the only reason why coaches sleep at night. They make bad decisions, you can trust them on a Takes a three. He gets it to fall. Takes away the pass. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Jump hook, low block. Kansas on a run right here, Dick. Yeah, they're starting to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Front and Dick and works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect that they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us.
Puts it up, looking for contact. He hits it. Had him in the low block, but opted against it. Here's the offensive drop step on low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Off the rim and no good. And he missed. For the deuce. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. Moving it around the perimeter. Way out on top, controlling the ball. He goes for the off the rim and no good. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job. And has it. He finished that block shot. the post flashing if he wants it that was nice <laughs> looks at a three got it can their defense get him back in the game dick I tell you it's gonna be a long hike back Brad Got the high pick. Picks off the pass. Tries for two. Two with a lay-in. Got it on himself. Offensive foul. Definitely an offensive foul. No doubt about it. He beats him to the spot. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Excellent spacing. That's so important. It's even more important to have talented guards like that. Yeah, that helps. Work the perimeter. Space is so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Turnaround jumper. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft as velvet, fading away, impossible to block. Kansas are on a bit of a run. Let's see how warm they can keep it on, Brad. They're working around the arc. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. The Volunteers have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. They work it around the perimeter. They move it into the front court. Fires away. He drains the bucket. Adam 
Momentary look from three-point land. Intercepted. Up and inside. From downtown. Rims out. Goes up for two. Great defensive clinic put on by this young man tonight, Dick. You betcha. He's giving the offense the blues. Here's the offensive drop step on a low block, but better defense. I'll tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. For the bucket. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. On the outside. He tries the three ball. Buried it. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Let's take a look at that last hoop. Inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He tries a jump hook. Ten seconds to shoot. Great defensive play. And two when you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Trying to draw some contact. The Jayhawks have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Well, he's on fire. the dribble gives it up gave it up nice steal there but the offense gets the ball back he's open if he wants the shot he launches a three the volunteers have got to continue to get him the ball they need to keep feeding him the ball it's simple that spin move not successful dick i did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn for the deuce, these guys are scoring at will. Hey, the defense is falling and they can't get up, baby. On the dribble, gives it up. He gets the rejection. Deal, go up the other way, get lay up. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for the basket. 45 degree angle, which is essential in entering the ball to the post. Gave it up. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming. Shot. the dribble gives it up tries for two they still don't score
gave it up. Well, Dick, sometimes statistics lie, but in this tournament game, I don't think they do. The better team won, and they're going on. Well, the better team won because they converted on the free throw line. They did all the little intangibles we talked about, and that was the difference in the game. Kansas wins and reaches the end of the road. These are the last road games of the season. Hey, two wins are all they need, Mr. Nestler, and it's all they're thinking about as this team advances to the magical Final Four. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nestler. Good night, everybody.